Oh, <laughs> What is going on everyone? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to Season 1, Episode 3 of Game of Thrones. So the first two episodes were actually really enjoyable. I've been loving this series so far. I didn't expect to actually like it this much, but I am. And I'm assuming this one is just going to be continuing on the story that we just previously had, especially how last episode ended off in such a, such a crazy way with, of course, the conflict between the Lannister family and the Stark family. And I really like that scene. That was probably my favorite part of the episode, the little the fight there between Joffrey and Arya. Arya. I'm sorry, I can't get the name right. I think I'll get it. I'll get it better when I hear people in the show say it more often. So it'll come to me more often. It'll, it'll happen eventually, trust me. I have to just hear it more in the show. Uh, Jon Snow, of course, left with... Yeah, they, went to, they went to the wall along with Tyrion and a couple others were there as well. And I'm hoping we get to see what's on the outside of the wall this episode. I hope we get to see what's, you know, going on there. And we also have uh, Daenerys it's basically becoming stronger, essentially, with the whole situation with Khal Drago. And she's probably just going to try to assert more dominance over him. Probably try to eventually get out of that situation. And like I said, I think it's going to involve that, that dragon egg in some way. I think it is, but that's just a prediction. And what else happened? I... Pfft, other stuff happened, but... Regardless, let's hop right into this. I don't want to waste too much time. If you want to see a full cut reaction, then I'll be on my Patreon, which link to that is in the description down below. Let's get right into this. I'm going to pay more attention to these openings just to see the locations, because I did learn that the locations in these intros do kind of tease what locations you're going to be seeing in the episode, which is a really interesting concept. So yeah, Winterfell, um, obviously we're going to have Winterfell in this episode. We've had them in all the episodes. I would be surprised if we... I mean, I'm sure we'll get episodes eventually that won't have it, but you know. Is that the wall? Yeah. Oh, I really can't wait to see this wall, man. Especially what's on the other side of it. I'll be back in time for supper. Jory, you go with them. If you'd like to change into something more appropriate. That's not appropriate? <laughs> Looks like nice wear to me, I don't know. Thank the gods you're here, Stark. About time we had some stern northern leadership. How many king's houses have polished, I wonder? And um, what's the line? The king shits and... The hand wipes. <laughs> Very handsome armor. Not a scratch on it. I know. People have been swinging at me for years, but they always seem to miss. Or do you just not actually fight? It must be strange for you coming into this room. I was standing right here when it happened. Yeah, so Jamie was the one who killed the previous king, right? Nobody deserves to die like that. But you just stood there and watched. And later, when I watched the Mad King die, I remembered him laughing as your father burned. It felt like justice. So what you tell yourself at night? <laughs> You're a servant of justice. That you were avenging my father when you shoved your sword in Ares Targaryen's back. If I stabbed the Mad King in the belly instead of the back, would you admire me more? <laughs> I've hoped to meet you for some time, Lord Stark. No doubt Lady Catelyn has mentioned me. It is Catelyn. I was right. I understand you knew my brother Brandon as well. <laughs> All too well. I still carry a token of his esteem, from navel to collarbone. Perhaps you chose the wrong man to duel with. Well, it wasn't the man that I chose, my lord. It was Catelyn Tully. This belongs to you now. Should we begin? Oh, it's an actual hand, because he's the hand of the king. <laughs> That's funny. My brother instructs us to stage a tournament in honor of Lord Stark's appointment as hand of the king. What kind of tournament here? Are you telling me the crown is three million in debt? I'm telling you the crown is six million in debt. How could he let this happen? I will not believe John Arryn allowed Robert to bankrupt the realm. Lord Arryn gave wise and prudent advice, but I fear his grace doesn't always listen. I'll speak to him tomorrow. This tournament is an extravagance we cannot afford. Yeah, I mean, getting put into this position, like, while there's already issues in it, that must not be easy, obviously. You are the king's hand, Lord Stark. We serve at your pleasure. I don't think he was expecting it either. He was just kind of asked, you know. You're a warrior, like your father. I'm not like him. I didn't fight off anything. It bit me, and all I did was scream. Yeah, at least he's being honest. <laughs> Do I have to marry her? Yes. You only need to see her on formal occasions, and when the time comes, to make little princes and princesses. Do something nice for the Stark girl. The occasional kindness will spare you all sorts of trouble down the road. We allow the Northerners too much power. They consider themselves our equals. How would you handle them? I double their taxes. <laughs> okay. Why should every lord command his own men? It's primitive. No better than the hill tribes. We should have a, a standing army of men loyal to the crown. The, the kid playing Joffrey's really, really good. The acting. 
And these 10,000 northern troops, would they fight for you or their lord? For me, I'm their king. You've just invaded their homeland. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be a good king. <laughs> a good king knows when to save his strength. I actually kind of like his dad too, like that's the thing. At least from what we've seen, I like his dad. Starks I mean, does she, does she see it that way? Oh shit, that's a terrible way to see it. <laughs> yeah, like I like the king, but his family's just pretty terrible. I mean, no, I like Tyrion though. He's a liar and a coward, and he killed my friend. The hound killed your friend. The hound does whatever the prince tells him to do. You're an idiot. You're a liar, and if you told the truth, Michael would be alive. <laughs> That could be true, to be honest. Possibly. I'm not sure, though. War was easier than daughters. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good quote. <laughs> Go away. Oh, yeah. Open the door. Whose sword is that? Mine. Oh, John didn't even tell him that he was going to give her a sword? Where did you get this? This is no toy. Little lady shouldn't play with swords. I wasn't playing. And I don't want to be a lady. And what do you want with this? It's called Needle. And who are you hoping to skewer with Needle? Your sister? Oh my god. Do you know the first thing about sword fighting? Stick him with the pointy end. <laughs> I asked my kids to practice with me. It was my fault. Oh, sweet girl. No, no. You didn't kill the butcher's boy. Yeah, that's understandable that she'd feel guilt about that. I hate all of them. The Hound, the Queen and the King. And Joffrey and Sansa. Sansa was dragged before the king and queen. Asked to call the prince a liar. Yeah. I guess that makes sense from... Because I was saying Sansa... Sansa could have said something. She, but, yeah, I guess. Does he have any say in their marriage? Like, is that just kind of like whatever Joffrey wants he gets? Or does... You know, like... Who, who does get a say in it? And who doesn't? Sansa is your sister. I don't hate her. Not really. That means she doesn't... She doesn't love her. She just... <laughs> if you want to own a sword, you better know how to use it. Can't wait to see her get to actually use it in action. I'm sure we're, we're at least seasons away from that, though. There's no way she's gonna be... I mean, she could be. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she will be killing people this season. I don't know. I know a story about a crow. I hate your story. Oh my god. Come on, Bran. My favorites were the scary ones. Oh, my sweet summer child. What do you know about fear? Is that a quote they say often, sweet summer child? Because so many people are telling me that in my comments. When the sun hides for years and children are born and live and die all in darkness. So that's what he meant by winter is coming? Thousands of years ago, there came a night that lasted a generation. Kings froze to death in their castles, same as the shepherds in their huts. And women smothered their babies rather than see them starve. Holy shit. So is this the sort of story that you like? <laughs> she's really... She's going hard with it. The White Walkers came for the first time. They swept through cities and kingdoms, riding their dead horses, hunting with their packs of pale spiders, big as hounds. Why is an old lady telling a story like that just make it ten times creepier? One time she told me, the sky is blue because we live inside the eye of a blue-eyed giant named Macumba. Maybe we do. It's a metaphor for maybe the White Walkers are actually out there still. Bran, I've seen you climb a thousand times. You never fall. I did, though. Oh, wow. He's not gonna tell the truth. Oh, he's not gonna walk again? Don't ever say that. I'd rather be dead. Damn. Maybe they're not, I don't know, we'll see. Obviously they don't have the same type of medicine and treatment as they do now, so... Valerian steel. Do you know whose dagger this is? I must admit I do not. It's mine. Yours? What? At least it was. Until the tournament on Prince Joffrey's last name day, I lost this dagger. To whom? Tyrion Lannister. What? What? <laughs> really? I, we'll see how this plays out. There, there could be like, cause it, that doesn't confirm it, right? I mean, maybe it does. I don't know. Lord Snow here grew up in a castle, spitting down on the likes of you. Love that transition though. Once they bring up, once they bring him up, then they show him. So this is right outside the wall. So John's kicking everyone's ass. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> For Ned Stark's son. Good news or bad? Both. That he's alive, but he can't walk. Uh, a raven from Winterfell this morning. Good news? Perhaps you'd like to share it with your wife. My wife is in Winterfell. Is she? Oh, yeah. Kind of forgot about that. He didn't know that she was coming. I thought that she'd be safest in here. You're a funny man. <laughs> Ned! <laughs> ah, the Starks. Quick tempers, slow minds. Uh, no. They seem smart in some cases. To me. Busted. Oh, boohoo. It's an improvement. <laughs> what you looking at, Halfman? I'm looking at you. <laughs> Imagine he could just like do some crazy fighting that we don't know about. Very distinctive faces. All of you. He doesn't really need to fight, though. He has, like, like we talked about, he has the, uh, what he talked about last episode, he has the knowledge, you know? And he has power, so, you know. Perhaps I'll write to my sister, the queen, about it. Yeah, exactly. That's all he needs to say. He doesn't need to fight. That is his fighting. Gren's father left him, too. Outside a farmhouse when he was three. Pip was caught stealing a wheel of cheese his little sister hadn't eaten in three days. He was given a choice, his right hand or the wall. They hate me because I'm better than they are. It's a lucky thing none of them were trained by master at arms like your Sir Roderick. Oh, your brother Bran has woken up. I love how it's every, all these stories are going on at the exact same time. It makes it, it flows well, you know. What Tyrion will say was stolen from him. The only man who could say otherwise has no throat, thanks to your boy's wolf. Peter has promised to help us find the truth. He's like a little brother to me, Ned. He would never betray my trust. Calm down. He's a child. Ten years old. What were you thinking? I was thinking of us. You're a bit late to start complaining about it now. <laughs> yeah, really. It's, hasn't it been quite a bit? <laughs> he remembers nothing. <laughs> then what are you raving about? Yeah, it could, I honestly wasn't sure if it was that he didn't remember or if he was just keeping it just out of for whatever reason. I don't know. But yeah, he probably just doesn't remember. They can write a ballad about us. The wolf says he's You're gonna go to a whole ass war. Oh, damn. Really gonna go to a whole ass war because of that? The boy won't talk. And if he does, I'll kill him. Oh, shit. The whole bloody lot of them until you and I are the only people left in this world. You are sick. She is too, because they're twins and they were, they were having sex. Little finger's right. I can't do anything without proof. And if you find the proof? I just didn't think Tyrion would, though. Off with you. Yes, it's been a long time, but I still remember every face. Do you remember your first? <laughs> They're talking about people they've had sex with. Who was it? That's Hiroshi. How do you do it? Oh, who they killed. <laughs> Quick one. I don't know why I thought it was... <laughs> Okay. He came running at me, thinking he could end the rebellion with a single swing of his sword. I knocked him down with the hammer. God, I was strong then. Caved in his breastplate, and he shouted, Wait! Wait! Yeah, I don't know if I like the king anymore. <laughs> Wine! <laughs> Gods, what a stupid name. There's not much wine left, huh? Who named you? Some half-wit with a stutter. It's empty, Your Grace. What do you mean it's empty? There's no more wine. Is that what empty means? So get more. Damn. See, he's a lot nicer when he's only interacting with Ned, because that's mostly what we've seen is his interactions with Ned. But seeing him interact with, like, you know, people who are, I guess, considered peasants, uh, <laughs> he's kind of a dick. <laughs> It was your first kill, not counting old men. <laughs> One of the outlaws in the Brotherhood. Any last words? I cut his head off, so no. Oh my god. What about Aerys Targaryen? What did the Mad King say when you stabbed him in the back? Yep. Did he call you a traitor? He said the same thing he'd been saying for hours. Burn them all. That was a really good scene, actually. Oh, I knew this was going to be back with uh, Daenerys because this environment just 
looks similar to the environments she's been in before with this group. Damn. Tell them all to stop. Where's she going though? What the fuck? Oh. What are you freaking out about? Oh, shut up. I don't take orders from savages or their sluts. Do you hear me? Oh, <laughs> Holy shit. Sakara say you should take ear to teach respect. Please don't hurt him. That was smooth though, the way it just went right around his neck. I am your king! Shall we return to the Kalisa, Kalisi? It's a very cool contrast between him and uh fuck, what's his name? I'm referring to Robert. I just forgot the name in the moment. Very different. <laughs> Ain't nobody commanding in respect to this dude. <laughs> so you gonna go up on top of the wall? I just want to see on the I just want to see on the other side. So let's do it. I want to I want to see what's going on out there. Wow, it's gotta be really cold up there. Yeah, it looks really cold. Is that the other side? Oh God, that looks terrifying. Just trees and snow. I'm leaving this morning. I'm the first ranger. My job is out there. Oh god. They've been disturbing reports. The White Walkers? And he's gonna go out there to look? You're not going. You're no ranger, John. But I'm better than every You're other- Better than no one. Here, a man gets what he earns. When he earns it. When you're 100 miles north of the wall and you ate your last meal a week ago, you leave nothing for the wolves. And how do a bear's bulls taste? He had to eat them? I hope we provided you with some good stories to tell when you're back in King's Landing. It's something to think about while you're drinking your wine down there. Half the boys you've seen training will die north of the wall. I'm not sure what I've done to offend you. I have great admiration for the Night's Watch. I have great admiration for you as First Ranger. You know, my brother once told me that nothing someone says before the word but really counts. But I don't believe that giants and ghouls and white walkers are lurking beyond the wall. That the only difference between us and the I mean, I understand why you wouldn't believe that. It's not the wild who's given me sleepless nights. You've never been north of the wall, so don't tell me what's out there. Oh, I'm so excited to see them actually come into full contact with the White Walkers. I'm assuming it's going to be the end of the season. That's my guess. I don't think we're going to see them right away. That's like me trying to pronounce the names in this show. <laughs> what are you doing? When was last time you bleed, Khaleesi? You change, Khaleesi. Wait, are you saying she could be pregnant? The Kalisi have baby inside her. She does. Don't stand so still. It's harder to hit a moving target. Yeah, keep the feet moving. Except for you. You move too much. <laughs> Winter of my birth was three years long, Mr. Eamon. This summer has lasted nine, but reports from the Citadel tell us the days grow shorter. Winter is coming. So yeah, these winter-summer things work obviously very different than it does in our world. We've been capturing wildlings. They're fleeing south. The ones who flee say they've seen the White Walkers. And the fishermen of Lannisport say they see mermaids. <laughs> How does she know? She just... Yeah, what? <laughs> no, but he asked how. <laughs> of course he's pissing off the ledge. <laughs> what if the wind just pushed you a little too hard and you fell, like, you know? It's either me or this cold, and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. If you see my brother Brum, tell him I miss him. He'll never walk again. If you're going to be a cripple, it's better to be a rich cripple. <laughs> There's a lot of good quotes in this show, like, the dialogue is really just on point all around. Tomorrow you will be here at midday. Who are you? You. <laughs> Your dancing master. Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming Ned set this up. The grip must be delicate. What if I drop it? <laughs> yeah, what, I feel like she should be training with a lighter one at first, at least. But, alright. Remember, child. This guy's a good teacher. <laughs> the way he's talking, just you, you could tell he's making it engaging for her, you know? She might actually get something out of this. 
<laughs> she just fucking rushed at him. <laughs> Dead? <laughs> oh. Dead. Look at him, he's so proud of her. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I think he's starting to not like the idea of her fighting. Yeah, I don't think he likes it anymore. Those are some, like, PTSD flashbacks to fighting. He doesn't want her getting killed in that, I completely understand. Pretty solid episode, uh, we had a lot of stuff happening there. I think the stuff I enjoyed the most was probably more of the, uh, the scenes with Tyrion and Jon Snow at the wall. Because just seeing the wall itself was just really cool, really inventive. And um, especially seeing the other side of it. I mean, it's just trees and snow, but I mean, just the darkness, I guess coldness too beyond there. Like, you could just tell it is something that you would probably not survive being in for more than like a day or so, not even. So I, I really like that idea and I really love how they're toying with the idea of the White Walkers and how a lot of people don't believe in it. Some of them do, but they're just, you know, they're like, why would this guy be saying it? Why would he have those delusions? He's, you know, they're, maybe they're not delusions. Maybe they are. I like the whole conversations going on there. Those were great. Jon Snow in general, he's just, he's a really cool character. So I, I enjoyed all those scenes. Definitely. Uh, Daenerys, he had a couple scenes with her, not nearly as much as some other episodes. Of course, we found out she was pregnant, which... I don't really, I, th I think the whole thing of her saying it's a boy, I think that was just her like having a feeling. I don't, I don't think there's actually a way she knows, but I don't know. And I'm not sure if she's going to go through with it or not, but if she does, I'm interested to see what ends up happening uh, with that boy, what they end up doing with him. But I don't know, because uh, I'm, like I said, this show is long, so we have a lot of seasons to go through. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of growth between these characters. So I do wonder, is this going to be a character that is going to live throughout the rest of the series if it is they do actually have the baby uh but i'm not too sure and so we had everything at king's landing there's a lot of great scenes there as well i think out of all the characters in that specific storyline uh, obviously you got aria i feel like aria is the right way to say it right is it aria i'm gonna say aria i think that's the way i'm gonna say it just because it's, it rolls off the tongue better but to be honest, characters, they've, they've said it different ways. I feel like they definitely have. Some people have said, like, Aya or some shit. I'm, unless I'm just hearing it wrong. I don't know. Um, but Arya just rolls out the tongue better. I don't know. What, regardless, she's probably one of my favorites for sure. I don't know. I just like those type of characters where they're, like, a lot younger and they have to kind of grow to be a fighter. And I'm hoping she gets that growth. I'm not sure how much of the series she's in, but I really do hope she's in the entirety of it because I want to see her grow as possibly being a fighter in the future. I think that would be really enjoyable to see. Uh, obviously, Ned Stark, he's probably the main character. I'm not sure if he's considered the main one. Again, don't tell me who the main character is because that could spoil stuff, but I, I just feel like he kind of has that main character feel to him. But then again, this is, does feel more like an ensemble, so I guess there's a couple characters that are probably more so considered the main characters. Uh, but yeah, he's great. And that was pretty much all the episode had. He had one scene... At Winterfell, it's like one or two scenes of Winterfell. They're not showing much of Winterfell. Like, I do want to see more of characters like Rob, for example. We didn't really see much of him. We don't really know much about him, to be honest. He's kind of just there. There's even the other Stark kid. Uh, what was it? Rickton? Rickton is his name, I think. We haven't really seen much of him either. Um, and yeah, that that's pretty much it. I, I enjoyed this episode. I didn't like it more than the first two, though. I will say that I definitely think I enjoyed the first two episodes a little bit more. But this one was still really solid. So I'm really excited to hop into the rest. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed the reaction video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you want to see full uncut reaction, that'll be my Patreon. Link to that is in the description down below. You can also get early access to these videos there. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.